Hammers robbing a local couple of precious memories at a young age, too. Yet a new medical breakthrough could possibly slow down this husband's decline. That breakthrough is a recently approved treatment by the FDA. News 4's Jenna Ray started looking into that treatment and reports qualifying for it is not so simple. Can you tell me what year it is now? Oh, boy, you know what? Um, 2003. 2003. Kevin Goki is only 58. After finding memory issues, scans, MRIs, and a plethora of neurologists, he got diagnosed with onset Alzheimer's in 2018. Does he have insight into his cognitive changes? He does. And so he's aware. I think aware. He, he's aware of it, yes. Uh, but he may not be aware of the severity, but he is aware he's got some changes. Yes, he is aware. Kim is Kevin's wife and caregiver. Together, they've been coming to see Dr. David Carr and social worker Megan Herman at Washington University for the last year. So we're starting at 20 and 20, okay. down to 1. Okay, okay. 20, 20, uh, 20, 20, uh, but, I'm, but I'm going down. Dr. Carr specializes in Alzheimer's and other memory loss and confusion conditions. It's not as good as we'd like it to be, but that's why we're here to try to work on it and see what we can do to stabilize it or possibly improve it. One way to do that so could be Aduhelm, the newest Alzheimer's infusion treatment recently approved by the FDA. Washi was working to get the treatment and Kevin could be one of the first in our area to get it. It's a new class of drug we sort of call the biologicals. It's a monoclonal antibody and what it does is it's given by IV infusion. A similar treatment is being used to treat COVID-19, but in the neurological sense, the monoclonal antibodies attack plaques in the brain where Alzheimer's disease lives. It's not without controversy. You should be aware there are some doctors who don't believe, and some at WashU, that there was enough data to warrant approval. There are other concerns as well. 30 or 40 percent of people can get a little swelling in the brain or these what we call micro hemorrhages. So you have to do surveillance, MRI scans. Not to mention the cost. $56,000. That's for a year of monthly treatments, which is not yet covered by insurance. The Alzheimer's Association is working to make the treatment more affordable for now. Like a tightrope, one foot oh, in front oh, of your sure. other. Kevin will undergo more tests and scans to determine over the next few months if he could be eligible. It's an exciting time mm -hmm. and, you know, we just, you know, um, have to sort of be a little cautious on um, not overselling. Uh, and we get to prescribing, make sure it's for the right person and there's not, um, you know, a high risk of side effects. In St. Louis, Jenna Ray, News 4.